Hi everybody, here we are at the Missouri Hair Scramble, Kilburn Woods in Bolivar, Missouri. This is a start. Felt like I got a pretty good start. I'm in sixth right now. C vet class. Really honestly didn't feel like I was going that fast in the grass track. I think I went in the woods ninth of 14, 15. Um, but but I like I liked my start. I was real happy with it. Seventh. In the woods, the dirt was perfect. Kilburn Woods, so when I say dirt, I mean rocks and roots. But out on the grass track, it got a little dusty. Eighth. And there's the whole shot sign. And I lose one more spot right before we go into the creek. Lack of aggression. So I'll go into the woods, ninth. I finished the day 11th in the class, so I only dropped two more places in the next two hours of racing. Boy, endurance really came into play on this one. Watched some other YouTube videos, and I think that little ditch right there had quite a few visitors today. I don't know who that guy was that just wrecked, but man, I feel your pain. So there were 227 racers on this course. The course was just six miles long, maybe give take. Uh, 227 bikes on a six mile course. There's bound to be bottlenecks, and this place was traffic jam after traffic jam, especially the first lap. I gotta remember to take a drink of water when I can when I get caught in the traffic jam. There I thought I'd get ahead of that guy while he got his bike off the tree, but he got it. This seems to happen to me quite a bit. Not making excuses, just something I gotta figure out a way to get around could not have rolled back at a more inopportune time right on the side of that hill and those rocks were wet and slick there's better riders to just zip right around that I stop I gotta something I gotta work on I was pretty happy with the way I managed to get up out of there though And bottleneck number two of the day. Clearly there's a cut. But we only went maybe a mile. I think we're about three miles right now. I still don't know what the reason is why we didn't want anybody going that way. I'm guessing somebody was wrecked down there. I don't know, but it looks like a good line from the top of the hill, doesn't it? Still not very fast, but man, I have a blast racing. And I'm, I'm slow enough, I just race against myself right now, but as I get better, I might get a little more competitive and aggressive on that stuff. Right now, I'm just trying to beat my own times every, every race. That pause there was to let those guys get up so I don't get stuck in the middle of a hill again. I'm open for tips and suggestions, as always. Bridger just tells me, gas it. Hearing me breathe hard is not unusual. 
uh, first two laps, I did pretty good. Uh, came in one hour and 51 minutes, and they said make another one in that third lap. I ran out of gas, unfortunately. Not in the dirt bike. I physically ran out of gas, and that last lap was, was a bear. Some nice off-camber logs there. Rocks and roots, rocks and roots, rut. Alright, here we are, a couple more miles, maybe a mile, and we're in traffic jam number three. I don't know if I was sitting too much, or if it's just because we haven't we haven't rode anything, I haven't really raced at all since February. I had arm pump horrible right now like my hands were going numb and that's something I've never really struggled with but boy I was early in this race and you see see here in a minute I'm trying to stretch my hands out this clip's also pretty cool I know it seems kind of boring sitting here looking at everybody stuck in a traffic jam but we're three miles in 3.1 miles in and the pro racers have already completed one lap and they're about ready to lap us all and it's neat, they give a lesson right here on how to get through a traffic jam. I am stretching my hands, but it's pretty cool to watch watch those good guys and what they do. And it's neat how everybody else sees what they do and then just follows suit. But they're they're definitely they're definitely good riders. I'll shut up and let you guys let you guys watch. I think you can hear them coming in the background. There they are. I like how the pro riders, they define a new line. We're all just sitting there waiting on somebody to make a move and those guys show where the line is. And then you see everybody else fire their bikes up, start their helmets and hey, we can do that too. Maybe not as well, but we can do it. There's very little to no topsoil down here. And it's like sheet rock or slate rock right underneath and it's so slick. It's like ice. The rock there is is loose. So if you don't carry your momentum, if you don't have the momentum to roll up the hill, you're darn sure not going to find it in the middle. Shout out to this guy, I have no clue who he is. Some poor guy who just wanted to come watch a race and ended up picking a really bad spot to watch and ended up working. Little look back right there, saw somebody's bike overheating. It's hard to keep enough airflow through the radiators, keep them cool and then your bike tips over and steams all over them. It looks cooler than it actually is hard on them, I think, but you darn sure don't want to run all out. Here we go. That was cool. I don't know if you saw that guy jump there right beside me. Cool on video, kind of scary in real life. GoPros never do hills or whoops like that justice. 
in this case jumps really makes you wonder when you watch those guys on TV and they do like 30 foot jumps and they look like 30 foot jumps holy cow I went over a 3 foot jump and it looked like 3 inches A lot of creek crossings here. I actually looped out in one creek crossing. May have been this one right here. It was, uh, it's later in the race. It was on my third lap after I was just plain exhausted. And I fell back in the creek, and I think it was a total blessing. I was out of water. I was too hot, and I just laid there for probably two minutes. It felt so good. This is one of those three foot jumps I was just talking about. Got me some mad air on that. All right. So there is a bad word coming up here. There's a hole in this creek that I hit. Shit. Shit. There's a hole there. It scared There's me. There. And then this rut. This was a man-eater rut. Turned into a bike-eater rut. It's three-quarters of a front wheel deep right now. We ended up finding another way around it. Down here in these creek bottoms, it would get super slimy. And then you'd get up on the grass tracks up on the hills, and it was dusty. Getting into some spectators now. There's my fan club. I'm not really a fast enough racer to worry about blowing by, so I'll just, you know, give a shout out. Mommy and B. I do give a little Barney burst coming up this hill. Finish line on the first lap. GoPro ran out of battery, uh, so I don't get to show the whole race. So before it ran out, I just threw some clips in of some stuff that happened. Dad likes the bloopers at the end anyway. I need—I got video evidence. See, video evidence right there that trees do jump out in front of you, even the baby ones. This is on a subsequent lap. I think there was a bottleneck here first time around. There's a guy up here on the tree and he's kind of pacing people. Uh, you got a whole lot better chance of making it up these hills if you can get a run at it and when somebody goes down in the middle, 
Well, then you get stuck and you can't get traction again. So he's kind of letting the guy, he's telling you, it's up to you if you want to listen, but he's telling you it's all clear. Give you a better chance to make a run at it. Definitely slows you down if, if you're super competitive, but kind of keeps the bottlenecks and traffic jams from getting quite so deep. This is that same creek hole right here. This time I tried to eyeball it up. I didn't want to fall in that hole again. It scared me the first time. Look, got a helper. Thank you. Thank you. Way better than hitting that hole and then the rut. Man, that was that was a great tip. Here's the Jenkins family. They're an awesome family. I I uh I just decided to stop right there and see if they wanted me to sign an autograph for them or something, you know. Here's the finish line again. I don't know if you can hear the excitement or disappointment in my voice right there. They say you get another lap and you're like, oh yay. But I only budgeted to, I've been pacing myself for two hours and oh man. <laughs> it's a total mixed feeling of emotion when you come in just in time for that one more lap. I mean, it's great for racing. You beat all those people that didn't get that extra lap, but man. I felt bad for this kid here. I think he was pretty tired too. And justify myself, I was going to give him a hand there. A little bit. Then everybody starts flying by me. And I think and hope by the time I got my bike out of his way, he got her broke free from that tree, so I just went on. Right in here is where my GoPro went dead. Check this out. You want to talk about fast. These are the Pee Wee Racers. These kids would honestly beat me. And a lot of the big bikes. This guy's, this guy's mommy's favorite. She might cheer for him more than she cheers for me. I think we're in the same speed class. There's my two most favorite people. For a kid that loves water, it wasn't crazy about getting splashed. Hey, everybody, see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching.